Okay, you guys, let's do this. Okay, all together now. Five, four, three, two, one. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's episode, I'm just gonna give you a tour of my Crayola collection and I love Crayola products ever since. Now starting from their crayons up to their more advanced gadgets like this air spray marker. So I would just like to show you um, all of the Crayola products that I have in my art collection. And I still use all of these, especially the crayons. You may think that I no longer use crayons because these are the type of uh, art materials that kids would use in preschool, but it actually works for really great artwork. And um, if you have been following me, you will find and see artworks that are made entirely out of crayons. And before I start, uh, I would just like to let you know that this video is not sponsored by Crayola or whatsoever. Uh, these are all bought uh, by myself or was given to me as a gift. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to start with the crayons because these are the most Crayola products that I have. So I'm going to start with this um, Crayola 48 color crayon set. And I bought these because um, it was on sale. And look at those wonderful colors. So as you can see, these 48 colors is a behemoth. Although I know that there is a larger set than 48s, but I think a 48 is more than enough from my usual coloring needs. Next in the lineup are these uh, Crayola 8 color sets. These are the typical 8 color set and the reason I bought these is because um, it has the most basic colors. As we all know, um, basic colors are the first one to go because this is the most used colors in a set. Same with the 48 colors earlier. These are made in the US, so you can see here and these one as well um, they are made in the US and by the way guys um, in the Philippines uh, Crayola is um, distributed by a company called Amspec next in the lineup here will be these themed Crayola sets each set has a certain theme with eight colors so I'm gonna start off with totally trucking and these are the colors that are included in the sets. Also, let me show you the actual colors that are included in the box. Next is over the rainbow. Again, these are the colors included in the sets and it's pretty much basic because the theme is rainbow. So they got all of the super basic colors the set next one is fashionista and with this it's more of vivid vibrant colors and let me show you the colors that they have for this set there we are next is dinosaur roar so for dinosaur roar um here are the colors included in the set and they included pretty much the basic colors that you need to draw trees and an actual dinosaur last one for the sets would be the mermaid shimmer and here are the color names for this set and with this set I thought it will be metallic or glitter crayon since it says mermaid shimmer but it wasn't so it's more than just like the name that they used for the set but anyways it's all right so again these are the themed sets of Crayola and again we have a dinosaur roar we have fashionista over the rainbow totally trucking 
Mermaid Shimmer, and yeah, I think that's the last one there. Just a note regarding these sets. Um, these are manufactured in the Philippines by Amspec. Amspec is an authorized manufacturer of Crayola products here in the Philippines. So if you're in another country, um, you may not see these sets, but they may be available on online shops. All right, let's move on to the next Crayola fabric crayons. Now, I didn't know that Crayola makes crayons like these. Um, it's only very recent that I learned about these and I think it's really cool. Now, let me show you um, the colors that they have for this eight color set. And then what you do here, it says in the instructions here at the back, just color the shirt as usual and then use like wax paper or normal paper uh, on top of it when you iron it so that the color would melt into the fabric and then it becomes permanent. Okay, so next one here on this side is the Crayola um, watercolor set and this is I think the largest watercolor set that they have of uh, 24 colors. Right at the back here, um, this isn't included um, with the product, but this is ice watch sheets that I included so that I'll have a reference uh, of what the colors will look like. Now, um, I would suggest for you to get the sets not only because colors are vivid and vibrant, uh, it's also of good quality and this set actually has everything that you will need has um, a detachable set and each set has a certain theme so like this part this is more of the cool colors and then these are more of the warm colors and this set here is the pastel color so you have all of the shades of colors that you're gonna need Crayola washable poster paints it does come with a variety of colors here so I do have here black and white, yellow and orange, violet and blue, turquoise and green, and we also have red, magenta, and brown. It also comes in special colors. Um, this is gold and silver. Now when I saw this poster paint, I was excited because I never knew that Crayola had poster paints. Although I cannot say that these are the best in terms of quality uh, number one uh, maybe because they are catering these for very young kids and it does have this weird sandy texture and I'm sorry to say but it does kind of smell weird it kind of made me uh, think twice if these are really non-toxic because the smell uh, is more like the paints that they use in silkscreen printing these ones kind of smell like that. So probably um, out of all the Crayola products that you have, these are the ones that I won't recommend that you get. Next in the lineup is these two 24 color sets. And if you will notice, these two have different packaging, although they are both 24 colors. For this one, uh, this is manufactured by, again, Amspec which is the authorized manufacturer in the Philippines. Now, um, here are the colors that they have for this set. The other one here is the Crayola Ultra Clean Washable Crayons. It has a detail here that says Color Max, our brightest, truest colors yet. So this is also 24 colors and the difference is this one is made in the USA and these are the colors that are included for this set. Now these two has a big difference when it comes to the pigments that are used to manufacture or to make them. These are the usual uh, crayons but um, if you haven't used Color Max yet I suggest for you to try it. It's very vibrant and it has a strong color payoff. 
Next in the lineup is the Crayola Colors of the World and this is also uh, 24 colors. Um, I bought two of them because um, at the time that I saw these um, it is on sale. There was a promo where the price is lower than usual so I thought I'd get two of them because it's, it's now very common that um, crayons will have a dedicated set for skin tones only and I am glad that Crayola created um, a set like this because for the longest time they only have maybe around two or three colors for a skin tone and there's really not enough range of colors to represent um, the other types of skin tones so if you will notice here on the sides this these are the lighter skin tones and they do have names then on this other sides can be the skin tones that you can use for shading or darker skin tone shades. Here are the colors for the colors of the world sets. And again, these are all skin tone colors. Uh, I also believe that they have um, markers and color pencils for the same colors of the world sets. Next on the lineup are colored pencils is the Crayola colored pencils in 100 color set. And if you turn it around, uh, you'll see all of the colors that are included in the sets, including their names. Now let me also show you just really quick all the color swatches and the names of each color. For the packaging, it's been difficult for me to uh, dig in all the time through the packaging here. So and then I placed all of the pencils here in this one container so that I'll have easy access to it. And it's also uh, quicker for me to choose the color that I'll be using because I can see them all in one go. And also I can group them in the type of color and shades, tints and all that. I also have two types of colored pencils here and these are both in 12 color sets. Now this is pretty much the same as the one in 100 colors, it's just that the 12 color sets will have the basic colors included in it. And I find myself using up all the basic colors and right at the back here um, we'll see all of the names and color swatches. Now this other um, color pencil sets are watercolor pencils. So um, if you haven't used watercolor pencils before, um, these are color pencils that are water soluble. So after you color in your drawing, um, if you want to make it look like watercolors, you just get a wet brush. As you brush it, the pigments would melt and will become like watercolors. Next one that we have here is the Crayola Twistable Colored Pencils and this is in 24 color sets and again um, just like the other Crayola products um, if you turn it around it would show you the swatches and also the names for each color. So what's so unique about this uh, Twistable Colored Pencil is that it's not the usual color pencil with a wooden case. Um, this has a plastic casing and then if you twist right here at the back, the lead will pop right out. And then twist it back and it's going to pull the lead in. Now um, this is not like a normal color pencil. Um, it's like a combination of crayon and color pencil. So next one that I have here is the Crayola Pip Squeaks, and this is in a 64 color set. So these are washable markers. Right at the back here is just more product details. It doesn't have the usual color swatches and the names of each color. Let me also show you what it looks like inside. So the colors are divided into four chambers. And this is how the pipsqueak looks like. So it's a really small version of the normal Crayola markers. Here is where you will see the name 
of the collar right in this part now let me also show you what the tip looks like the tip is not the usual uh, bullet type tip like what you will see in other markers or other brands um, Crayola has this signature cone shaped tip that lets you draw thin and thick lines okay so again this is the Crayola uh, pip squeaks next in the lineup is also Crayola markers but this time these are the normal or regular Crayola markers and as you can see here in this detail these markers are compatible with the air marker sprayer and on the side it says here it has three kinds of washable markers and then details are here it has the ultra clean normal markers and then they included gel markers so these markers are opaque and you can draw on dark paper or black paper and it's going to give you a pop of color because these are opaque markers and these are window markers which you can use to write on non-porous surfaces like glass or tile and even plastic and also let me show you what it looks like inside as you can see here we have markers that um, are not in a box like these ones um, it's packed separately and these are the window markers now this other set here are the gel markers and it does have a black colored casing so again um, gel markers are used for black or dark colored paper and these window markers are used for non pars um, surfaces like glass now for the markers um, they do have separate packaging here and let me show you how it looks like so these are the regular sized Crayola markers and again um, it has the cone shaped tip just like the pip squeaks earlier only this one has a larger cone shaped tip and again um, these markers are compatible with the Crayola air marker spray which is the next one in the lineup and it is right here this is the air marker sprayer and this is version 2 which is electric powered okay, right there it says electric powered it also has an updated design and here on this side we see the details on how to use the air marker sprayer okay let me also show you the details at the back this version since it came from Canada it is a um, hundred I think or 110 volts but from where I'm at right now the standard is 220 volts so I'm gonna have to use a converter or a voltage transformer so that I can use this air marker sprayer and that's also the reason why it's still in the box I still haven't opened it yet uh, I'm still waiting for my voltage uh, transformer that I'll be using for this air marker sprayer but overall I still think that Crayola makes really good products and by the way guys again if you have any questions regarding the items that I showed you today um, please do leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer your questions and it would also help a lot um, if you have suggestions and uh, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell so you will be updated whenever um, I post new videos and also please hit that like button and it'll be a big help for the channel. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today guys and I will see you on the next video.